Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel and this is my first ever career mode episode for Fever Tony and I'm back with the video guys and it's been a long time since, you know, people have been telling me to make a career mode episode but yeah, here it is finally and hopefully I can be consistent with it. And guys, if you guys have like a transfer like, you know, options or like anything you want to let me know, like any good players and whatever, just, you know, come right in the comment section and I'll look at them. You know, this is like our career mode and I've never like actually properly done a career mode because of how shit my computer was back in the day. But yeah, and this is, I just can't believe I'm even making this video. So let, let's just actually get into it. And guys, I know you guys can't be asked to watch all this manager customization and stuff. So I'll do all of this and, you know, come back in the end. And guys, we are done with our manager. Look at this homeboy. He's got massive hair. You know, you can see the side of him. Yeah, I know it looks like a joke and guys, don't bully the shit out of me. But yeah, this is how he looks like. It's like if I zoom back out, you can see how, you know, just he's already rocking his shit. And then we're going to, you know what, guys, look, you'll see what I mean when I'm playing the games and, you know, being team 7 nil and shit. But anyway, let's just actually get into the, um, you know, game. Let's just look at the teams and stuff. And guys, why I chose Espanol was because, you know, it's another team in Barcelona. And let's be better than Barcelona. You know, not that I have any hatred towards Barcelona in real life or anything because I love them. But, you know, let's just, in this career mode sake, let's just try and actually be one of the best clubs in the La Liga. And as you can see, um, they're not really that good in the game, like, when you start with them because, you know, they're only four stars and like there are been many good like you know teams in the spanish league sevilla real madrid obviously barcelona you don't have to mention them but you know other teams as well like villarreal and all that kind of stuff yeah so we have a lot of competitors to, like you know beat and all of that kind of stuff and our aim is to you know get to the champions league win all that stuff you know the typical kind of things but yeah as you can see our transfer budget is 9.3 million and club worth you know 67 million pretty good and pretty much all of our stuff's like medium, like when you come to the board expectations and everything. But yeah, uh, I'm going to start playing um, on legendary six minute, you know, money, all of that international job offers. Yeah, why not at some point? Uh, yeah, we're just going to enable all of this. And yeah, let's just move on. Espanol today have unveiled their new manager, V. Dot. Pep Guardiola, no jokes, but yeah, um, guys, hopefully I'm going to try and play like some counter-attacking possession football and hopefully we're going to try and like be a lot of players and, and I know guys we have like one or two good players that we can start off with like Roja and all of that we'll look at it more when we start the actual you know look at the team management and stuff like that and European Championship I might skip all of this because I never played this year but let's just go for the highest amount you know in Germany 7 million and yeah I'm excited to show you guys the squad and what formation I'm going to be using and all of that so let's just get into it and guys I don't know if you guys give a shit about this but I'm going to show it anyway just in case because I don't know um, yeah the typical staff who gives a fuck about that um, our visions and expectations yeah we saw that uh, our first scout report probably not any place that I actually want one of those typical things where the game automatically you know sets up the thing um, introducing myself I don't care and then yeah let's just actually look into the team as you can see Espanol default squad morale um, you know not that good right now because you know we're just started but guess what guys in about two games when we're gonna be beating teams 10 nil, you know that's gonna be up but yeah uh, looking at the squad all oh my days the team as itself you know already plays with a five at the back three in midfield two it's a very defensive team but I'm gonna change a lot of things in this and I'll get back to you guys soon because you know it's probably gonna take a long time and i doubt you guys want to see it and guys this is a team that i've came up with as you can see i've changed a lot the formation is four two three one i'm going to be playing with and guys i've changed the team in a really good way you know because i put this guy left wing vargas 90 pace pretty good and this guy is meant to be a winger but he's playing central attacking mid because every other place we have is absolutely shit and um we have this pr guy if you guys remember him he used to be op back in the games and um yeah a lot of old players in this team as well so i just put like you know swapped him with like the younger players that are you know better younger players that are in the squad for example pedro so this left back 21 years old that like, used to be de la Quila, the former ac milan player left back so i changed him now though the tall fucking beast he's still there from schalke you know former formerly of schalke and then this guy's a 23 you know i never heard of him but apparently he's really high rate for a, for that age pretty decent sebastian Korsche, you know used to play for leo so like yeah we have like known players and the two best players guys is the cdm the two pivots 25 years old 80 rate 79 22 years old and moving on to the bench we have this younger striker i was thinking of playing him instead of this guy but Apparently the guy on the right is, you know, much faster. So yeah, might as well play in there. And the formerly of Real Madrid, the Granero, you know, four-star skills. I don't know how he has that. But anyway, yeah, these are the players, guys. I need to improve the bench as well. 31 years old, that guy ain't going to get anywhere. And the Athletic Bilbao player as well, formerly again. Italaspe, 76 rated. And my backup keeper, 67 right so i might be getting some like youth place or some shit like set up like a youth account and then try and get the next noia but yeah guys this is the squad and i'll show you guys the instructions as well i'll change that 
Um, as you can see, stay central, get in behind for this guy. Vargas, Melando and Piatti, they're all going to stay forward, whereas both of these Roja and Darda has got cut passing lanes, drop between defenders, aggressive cover centre, so, you know, they can literally be pivoting, you know, protecting the back four. And then, you know, just defending and breaking legs, basically. So let's actually look at the squad. Uh, what the hell is it called? Uh, the report thing? Not report. Ugh. The squad hub. There you go, guys. 79 rated Diego Lopez in goal. We have 64, 67. Both players kind of shit, to be honest. Except this guy, 20 years old, pretty good rating, I guess. But even then, you know, I, I just know for a fact I'm not going to use him that much. But yeah, Pedrosa, Didacvila, Arnaldo, Calero, Esposina. And guys, I'm just going to show you guys, you know, all these players. If any of them you think that are good in the game or whatever that I don't know, that, that I haven't like played with, that, you know, just let me know. And I'm noticing some of these players have like game faces, which is really good, you know, I guess makes the series a bit more realistic because I hate players with no like, you know, actual game face and all of that kind of stuff. I don't know if it's just me, but I guess a lot of other YouTubers also have the same thing. And I'm trying to see if there's any good lone players out there that I just don't know about. Maybe, I don't know, I'm hoping. Yeah, that I guess this guy, 23. I mean, 21 years old, 73 rated on loan as Real Saragossa. And guys, don't bully the shit out of me if I don't pronounce, you know, players' names right. Like, I guess this guy's also young, 21, 71 rated. But yeah, we need to actually buy certain players as well. But I don't know if I should buy that many players, like, in the first season. I don't know, to make it not realistic and stuff. But who gives a fuck? Let's just put some training and then see where it goes. And guys, these are the players I put in, you know, just increasing the dribbling and interceptions and stuff, you know, because we need to be defending a lot. And I feel like uh, Legendary is going to be too hard for me. I don't know why, but yeah, uh, you'll see what I mean if you have to find that out. But anyway, uh, let's just look at the youth, you know, trying to implement some youth plays in this bitch. Because, you know, we need to do that because it's a career man, and I guess, you know, it's a typical thing to do. So let's see, 5 star, 3.6. That's pretty much my entire budget gone if I spend that on him. But, um, you know what, fuck it. Yeah, we'll just go for Fabian Luis. I mean, Fabian Lopez, don't kill me, but... Yeah, set it up in Spain. Um, yeah, let's just go for not nine months, six months, maybe. I don't know. Actually, yeah, nine months. Uh, what do we want? Uh, physically strong playmaker. What do we not have? Defenders. Actually, we just don't have a lot of good things. Um, goalkeepers. You know what, guys? Because Diego Lopez is 30, and as much as it's five star, five star, and I want to assign like you know outfield players. Goalkeeper might be a good thing, you know. Um, you know what? Just any. So that way, if I get a good goalkeeper, any other like you know positions, then that whatever. We we'll just go for that because I don't want to just stick to goalkeepers because like imagine wasting your chances on other players. But anyway, yeah. But yeah, guys, there it is. Um, I'm just gonna advance now and then see what comes up. And guys, um, this is gonna be the end of the video so far because you know I just want to get your guys' input and all of that kind of stuff. And if you guys know any good centre backs that I need to buy, and a let's see, let's see who who do we need to buy? We need a right back, a centre back. And we also need another winger, right winger. So if you guys have any good options, you know, I've played with like fast pacey players, preferably like, you know, four star skills. So like if any good players, guys, just let me know, type in the comment section. And if you guys are excited or whatever, leave this bitch a like. And um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. And in the next video, I'm just going to be, you know, hopefully making it a bit longer, play the games, I don't know, simulate some shitty international tournaments and then you know hopefully we start off our La Liga with our first game and hopefully this thing goes well and I hope you guys are excited just as me and um, hopefully my commentary as well also gets better along the series because some of the times guys I'm not gonna lie I don't know what I'm talking about but it's alright guys we have you know each other and you guys can tell me and all, all of that stuff and guys one other thing that I want to do is um like I'm not sure what to do like a post commentary like talk over the video or just like you know live commentary so that's another thing you guys can let me know you know what to do and stuff like because I just want to do this career like the best way possible so you know it's enjoyable for everyone that kind of thing but yeah guys that's it for this video thanks for watching stay safe and peace out